everyone so for this video I'm going to be talking about pairing like hermit crabs of different sizes like together and everything um, because I know a lot of people think that like you know a big one that's like this big can't be with one that's like that big you know um, but I actually have hermit crabs here's one right here she is as you can see she's probably about like the size of like a golf ball so she's really big and I have her in the same tank I do with this size so just a quick comparison real fast I'm not gonna have them out too long because they don't really like it um too much uh, but they're doing pretty good right now um so I have those ones and then I also have this guy oh hold on she's coming out go back in okay so and then I have her with this size that's a pretty big difference Oh my gosh, they're running all over the place. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so, I just want to show you those uh, size comparison real quick. They were getting, like, pretty freaked out and stuff, so I had to put them back in. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, um, I have all of them together, and they never fight. Like, they never, like, try and hurt each other or anything. Um, so, really, it's not hard at all. Really, it's not, like, any complicated, like, divide system or anything. Like, you have to do with, like, hamsters and gerbils if they're not already paired. Um basically I'm just sort of making this video just to tell you that you don't have to worry about like doing anything crazy or anything to like ha get them to get along with each other and you don't have to look for ones that are the same size although what I have noticed is with mine um the the two bigger ones seem to like hang out like go in the same like areas together and then like the two medium sized ones I have sort of stay and then I have like three smaller ones and then they all you know like they all just sort of like stay in their own groups it's really funny it's sort of like people you know um, but I have sometimes noticed that, I don't know, I have no, like, actual, like, scientific proof of this or anything, but I'm pretty sure it does seem like the big ones, like, if the smaller ones try and go in the coconut hut with the bigger ones, it, I have seen my bigger one push, like, start walking into the other one, like, pushing her out, like, this is the big girl club, you know, you're gonna go back to your teeny tiny little castle, you know, <laughs> like, I, I don't have any proof, like, proof that that's what they do or anything, I don't think, I'm pretty sure it hasn't been, you know, like, confirmed or anything, but I'm pretty sure that they're, like, bullying her or something like that, I don't know, it's like, it sort of seemed like, it's, that's what it looked like, but, I don't know, maybe... Who knows, they have their own little clicks, you know, hermit crab clicks. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, but really, like, other than that, like, mine have never fought. I know, I think it really... Um, sorry about that, I know that was really professional on me, but... <laughs> Anyways, um, back to what I was talking about. Uh, yeah, like, I just... Like, I really think it just depends on the personality of the hermit crab. Um, like, I know some can be more aggressive, especially, like, depending on the situation they were in. Like, uh, I've had some that were at the mall, and I mean, I, like, you can even tell, like, inside of there, like, the ones who are, like, pushing other ones around and everything. Like, it just, like, because that is, like, a really bad situation, you know? Um, but... I mean, mine really get along really well, like, nothing has ever happened, like, mine have never killed each other, like, the big ones never pick on the smaller ones, I mean, they'll sit next to each other, like, you know, they'll sometimes do stuff, like, next to each other, they'll be eating next to each other, but they never fight, I only have one food dish, too, and I have, like, just, you know, my two basic water dishes, and nothing has ever happened, so, they all do really good, because I know, like, my hermit crabs, I have never been pinched by a hermit crab, except one time, but I actually think I may, like, make a whole other video about that too because it's sort of like a longer story and it's pretty interesting like and it, I made a lot of mistakes with like being pinched by that hermit crab and I just want to make a video like saying what you should not do if your hermit crab pinches you because I was like it was really bad anyways back to what I was talking about um my cousin actually got pinched by a hermit crab too because we were at the mall and she picked one up it was a bigger hermit crab and she put it like on the palm of her hand and it gripped on so tight and she like couldn't get it off and that I'll also talk about that in my hermit crab pinching what not to do video <laughs> but anyways yeah so like I know some will, like, pinch you more and everything, but mine, like, really, they don't pinch each other or anything. Things that you should look for, though, like, if your hermit crabs, maybe some yours may fight, 
Um, I really don't think they would, though. Like, guys, I really don't think you should worry about that. Because I, like, I don't know many people that have had this problem, really. Um, but I do know it can happen rarely. I think it's really rare. So if you see a big one you like and a small one you like, you should go for it. But if you want to just look for ones closer, similar, you can do that, too. Like, it's just, it's whatever you want to do, really. But, um, what if, but if it sort of seems like they're fighting or something, things you should look out for them. Like, if they're doing these things, you should probably not keep them together. But don't be, like, super cautious about it, um, because sometimes they could just be doing something else and they're not actually hurting each other. Um, but, like, if one flips over the other one, climbs on top of it, and starts sort of, like, putting its big claw or, like, the claw that's next to the big claw like if they're clawing at it or something and like looking like it's like gonna pull off the claws you should like because I know that they can pull each other's claws off uh, especially if they want that one shell um they will try and claw at it and yeah so it's a really scary situation and I would so if the, you see them doing that do not let them do that um if you see them just like uh, like, if there's food, and then they're, like, grabbing the food, and then, like, you know, sh just, like, you know, uh, just if something seems really violent, like, especially mainly if they're, like, clawing, like, you know, really getting at each other, like, then that's when you should separate, um, but yeah, and I think that's about it for this video, basically, guys, that's just really what you should look out for, um, it's really not a big deal, uh, as I said earlier, and yeah, so I hope this helps you, like, when you're getting your hermit crabs and everything, and yeah, so I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!